Hello everyone. A very good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. I'm Kazi, and uh, right now I'm in Germany. So today I will be dealing with uh, some of the very important steps in installing your Energia software. Uh, so before that, let me just introduce this Energia software to you. Uh, Energia is an uh, IDE. Uh, it's designed. It is. It is designed by the uh, Texas Instruments, and specifically for uh, uh, your uh, MSP series boards, as well as Tivasi and and a few more boards uh, where we can where you can work on. And uh, moreover, uh, the the biggest advantage of using this, or why I do prefer Energia, is it's very simple to use. And if you are aware of Arduino. Uh, the program style uh, and it's everything fantastic I mean it's similar to Arduino so it will be very uh, uh, sim uh, it'll, it, it's a very easy programming not time taking one if you if you are aware of the Arduino so without making much more ado let's start so this is the Energia the link you can see energia.nu and you can go to downloads and you'll get this page and here the first step you have to do is you have to install this software so in order to install the software here it is this is energy this is a zip file okay it, it will take some time and also let me just uh, give you some some more uh, hint or i can say some some more information about this you can say this is the energy board here uh, one second i just yeah this is the energy board if you can see i'm using tivac series board uh it's 80 megahertz processor a dual core and it has some 40 pins i guess yes it's some 40 pins it has a very strong leds near the switch you can see this point this point over here these are the rgb leds over here it's really strong leds and uh, it uh it has uh what else i can say it's a very powerful board which can be a, which is also similar to working in an industry and we are almost done with the energia zip file and once we are done with this we'll have to install the drivers like after installing this energia software the next task is to install the drivers and the main reason for installing the drivers is because this energia software it's, it's like a cross compiler because you are working on windows or linux whatever yeah, uh, the operating system and you need some drivers where you can your operating system should understand these things and and it's done you can see go into the folder it's downloaded here I'll extract these files it'll take a couple of minutes and till then what I can do is I can go to this Telerys drivers here okay and download these drivers from here you can see this again in the Texas Instruments uh, link and you can go to tools and you can uh, download this Telerys ICDI drivers okay it is taken it's a short file it will be done okay. okay this is done now I'll open the folder hope we have copied it will take some more time and Okay, so I will extract this file too. Okay, so till then, let me come over here and come to manager. Come to settings. here it is this is the device manager and when you go to this device manager from here uh, you can see the devices which are connect I mean the drivers which you need to connect the devices and you can see a kind of exclamation mark over here uh, there will be three files actually I had tried it once so you'll not find the other two uh, the other one but there will be three uh, uh, files over here so I have connected my board 
it's need, need not to connect but while installing drivers you have to connect but uh, I would say yeah this energy is uh, done yeah so next thing is I have to create some shortcut okay first let me open this this is my energy app and after that you have to go to your this device manager and this is your energy software okay so in the device manager you can see you'll find another one actually total three so what, what you have to do is you have to just right click on this update the software i'll tell you I'll, I'll show you two ways if you have a very strong internet a very good internet then you can go with search automatically and update the software or otherwise if you know where your drivers something the method which i have followed that uh, i know where my drivers are exactly so i can just show the link to it yeah it's already here it's oh, i can just show it to you in the downloads it's in the stellaris icdi and it's okay and i'll say next so it starts in, in, installing this and i just have to say install click the install button over there you can see windows has finished installing the drivers for the device it's done okay and there's one more thing left and i would like to show you something in a different way update drivers you can go the same way here or you can go over internet search online for softwares it automatically detects it probably it will take some time but uh, it's time for me to uh, to cancel this and uh, because my internet is not so good so I have to install by my own browse my computers next done so the drivers are being successfully installed in this and you can see installer is in circuit debug interface it's done comport yes tether is over bluetooth no yeah and uh, these things you're getting because you have some bluetooth bluetooth enabled over here so you have when you disable the bluetooth you can see these all four comports but you can only see stellaris virtual serial comport 21 okay that's all you need and uh, i can just show you one more thing so after this yeah here it is once you open it you can even see the one which boards you can try those things okay 21 okay so that's it from here